So X Defiant, another video I got to work on because, uh, you know, realistically, I was going to make a video with Mark's uh, most recent tweet, uh, you know, giving it an update. But when I read through it and I'll show you in a bit, I was basically just going to regurgitate basically what I said in my last video. But let's go ahead and get started with going over with what he said. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope everyone had a good holiday. The team is getting back into the office this week and we are ready for a great year. We will have some more specific news in the next couple of weeks as we get ready for launch. But the quick update on our progress is one, we have addressed the weird issues that were affecting netcode. See previous update for more info and we will continue to improve and test our netcode before and after launch. And two, we've implemented the new party system and are now just putting it through rigorous testing and bug fixing as we get ready for launch. I also want to give a shout out to those team members who worked through the holidays. Much of our team is working on future content, but many of those that are working on getting the game ready to ship did put in some hours over the holidays, and I want to recognize their dedication. We try very hard to not be a crunch studio as we care about our people and their families. The whole team is very dedicated to X Defiant, and we are super excited to launch this game. So yeah, pretty much they're still fixing the netcode issue. They implemented the new party system, you know, basically everything I said in the last video. You know, simple and simply put, I can just say, you know, everything I said in my last video still applies to this new update and call it a day. But I've been seeing videos popping up of people saying X Defiant is dead or people losing their hype. So I wanted to be a little bit extra. While, yes, this is an update and in a way basically just repeating what I said, I want to be a little bit extra this time. I did go through some tweets just to kind of give you some uh, idea of what we're exactly we're waiting for starting with the most uh, infamous one of all, skill-based matchmaking. Basically, when asked, will x Define have skill-based matchmaking, Mark Rubin responded with, no skill-based matchmaking in normal playlists. We will have a welcome playlist for players under level 25 that will have skill-based matchmaking, but all the other playlists won't have skill-based matchmaking. So think of boot camp if you played like the earlier versions of Call of Duty. Basically, you're you know, able to play that mode up until a certain level threshold. After that, it boots you out and you're forced to play the regular modes with the other players. On top of that, ranked will have ranked base matchmaking. So think of like a good example would be maybe Valorant, Overwatch with their ranking system, where it's just putting you against other people of the same rank. And then on top of that, he says, let me know if that makes sense. If not, I can go into it further. And that's exactly what Mark Rubin did because someone else um, ended up tweeting I don't like the idea of skill-based matchmaking being introduced to the welcome playlist. There's just no need for skill-based matchmaking to be outside of rank matches. To which Mark Rubin just responded, it's fully optional. You can just jump right into the normal playlist with no skill-based matchmaking. I'm guessing the skill-based matchmaking in this, uh, you know, welcome playlist is just for the players to just get a hold of the game. You know, just people who may be too new to a shooter, they'll kind of be placed with other people who are also new you know, if that makes sense, it's just to kind of get people adjusted. But once they get, you know, adjusted and they hit the rank 20 or yeah, rank 25, they'll be kicked out there. I mean, they won't pretty much be able to play this anymore and they'll have to play either a rank or just the normal playlist. The rank one will have rank skill based matchmaking, while the regular playlist will not have any of it. It'll just be purely based off connection. And for those of you similar to me that, you know, they're not satisfied with reaching max rank and want a prestige, uh, this one's for you. Someone did ask Mark, will the prestiges be like old CODs? To which Mark Room responded with, we're designing that system as we speak. We want to have the classic prestige system, but we also recognize that while games like COD, you get a new set of prestiges every year, a la new game, and we are a des game designed to last for years. So looking at possibly yearly prestiges. And honestly, I'm not against this idea. Maybe they can do like this thing where, you know, the first year of X Defiant, you hit what the max rank or max prestige would be, what, 10 more than commonly. So year two, say if they do make more content after the first year, they can start going to prestiges 11 to 20 or, you know, they can kind of start in increasing the prestige threshold the longer X Defiant comes out for those people that, you know, instead of being stuck at level 55 and calling it quits, they can just prestige and just keep going and getting a shiny new rank, if that makes sense. You know, something that some uh, Call of Duty seems to have stopped doing ever since Modern Warfare 2019. I maybe, I think, yeah, I think if anything, Cold War had something like that. But basically, 
we we just haven't it's been ages since we've had a classical prestige system uh, you can comment if i'm wrong but it's because i just haven't really played enough to fully test this so but on the plus side though it is being brought over to x defiant as a possible yearly prestige system which i'm looking forward to and lastly this is for those that like to have like custom bindings to their controller so think something again I, I keep using overwatch but it's because it's the only game i can think of where say you know you're you can switch the reload button from what's it called x or square to triangle or y basically make it out of that someone did ask will there be custom controller bindings to which mark rubin responded with unfortunately not right out of the gate this is something i want as well and will push for when it makes sense from a production standpoint someone didn't like this answer and assumed that they meant like you can't do any bindings whatsoever but what he basically was saying was basically your own custom things so say like again uh more commonly say you want to you shoot with the r2 or right trigger button you can switch it to r1 or right bumper you know something like that that's what he's talking about that you can't do that right out of the gate otherwise more than likely he did say like you can still pick the classic control uh, layouts he, basically here he says you can pick from a bunch of button layouts like in cod but he is mark rubin is kind of talking that what's it called custom button rep mapping like i was giving some examples earlier that's not something that's going to be available at launch so yeah that's pretty much where we're at right now they're still fixing the net code they're still working on the party system they're basically just uh ironing out this game to be the best as possible and i know it's been a rough way but when you really think about it you know, maybe it's this is honestly a good thing. I know a lot of people hate waiting for this game. They've been told that it was going to be coming late summer and it never did. And now we're just kind of in the new year and we still don't know the release date. But, you know, if you really wanted a, a shooter where, you know, the devs just push out a product and just fix it as time goes on, then, I mean, Call of Duty already exists. You know, this is a team that's doing something completely different where... They'd rather, you know, give the player base, us, the community, the best product imaginable with no, as little bugs and as little issues as possible. Not saying that when it comes out, it's going to be the most perfect game ever. I'm pretty sure once the, you know, PC, PlayStation, Xbox com community all jump into the server at once, you know, that's going to probably give them uh, some, server, some, some server issues and other stuff that they might have accounted for but realistically you know once it's in the mass numbers of people jumping in they're going to be able to iron it out a lot better for now they're just trying to make sure that that first impression you know the first uh, server issue of and all that is about as minimal as possible and i know a lot of people hated waiting and honestly that's <laughs> the best we can do right now is just wait i mean Again, there's other shooters out there just to kind of fill the void, but X Defiant is just one of those games where the dev team is clearly passionate about it. I mean, seriously, if you saw me when I was reading that uh, little update earlier, you know, some of them were working during the holidays, you know. Uh, how many times can you actually, you know, see a dev team, you know, work through a vac basically what should be their vacation time just to make sure this game is as good as possible? Not many. I mean, you know how many times I've seen, uh, not not to throw Call of Duty under the bus, or, but you know how many times I've always seen videos of them saying, you know, they left this broken, they left this unchecked and everything, and we won't hear from them until they come back from vacation. This is, yeah, so it's a little funny that, you know, despite the fact that they're, you know, they are working through the, uh, what's it called, holidays to get this game as good as possible. I... You know, hopefully it speeds things up. And to be honest, it's probably the best thing because realistically, once X Defiant does come out, part of me thinks it might come out somewhere between February or March. But only time will tell. You know, we went from waiting a whole year to more than likely maybe in a few months. But again, Mark Rubin seems to update us each monthly or whenever or based off the thing we should, by the end of this month we'll be able to know for sure if we're going to get another play test followed by a final up uh, final release release date for this game but yeah that's pretty much where we're at right now we're just still waiting I know it's uh, annoying and trust me I feel that same frustration as well because I like I said I'm almost burning through 
what little I have left of X Defiant footage. And once I burn through it, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. But for now, I made this video to just keep, an up, keep you all updated because, you know, I am trying to keep a close lid and... Funny enough, uh, the X Defiant community is literally carrying my channel to this to this point. So any little update, I try my best to keep you all updated. And yeah, that's about it for the video. For now, be sure if you like this video, leave, leave a like. Comment what you think about you know the whole X Defiant update and how, how you're holding up with this long wait. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, let's see. Feel free to subscribe if you're up for it. And... I guess if you want to follow my Twitch as well, because I do stream pretty regularly, you can follow me there. I'll leave a link in the description. I, I ch keep changing my name until I find something suitable so I can't really, and I got to bug Cradles to kind of update my link, which funny enough, in two months, I'm going to change it again. I'm just trying to find the right name for Twitch. So, you know, but for the most part, if you've noticed on YouTube, I shortened it to just Duba because... I don't know. I feel like a shorter name is probably a lot better to be more recognizable than a long name that people will have different ways of pronouncing. So, you know, shorter name, but I'm going to end up changing it again. So for now, whatever link is in the description is the more up to date one until I change it. If anything happens or once I settle on a final name, you'll start hearing me say follow the Kratos Agape link to get all my things. But for now, I kind of have to update it one at a time. Anyways, here we go final we're at that final stretch of waiting on x defiant and hopefully it comes out soon please <laughs> anyways see you later everyone